Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you and explain to you how you can create rules on a document library in SharePoint. Um, so first I want to explain to you what this rules feature is all about. Essentially, the idea behind uh, the rules feature is that you can create a certain rule, all right, certain logic, uh, where you will be notified by email if something changes within your document library. For example, if uh, maybe the file, the new file is created or maybe a file is deleted, etc. cetera, all right? Uh, it's really just an email notification when something happens uh, within the document library. Now, I want to make it clear before I demonstrate this to you, I want to make it clear um, is that uh, we actually had this uh, capability already for quite some time. And I do have uh, a few videos on the topic on my YouTube channel. Uh, for many, many years, we had an alert feature. And if you navigate to the document library, all right, if we navigate to the document library and if you click three dots uh, and say alert me, you will get this uh, pop-up where you can uh, configure pretty much the same rules, if you will. Uh, we call them alerts. Um, again, if something happens. So for example, if uh, items are deleted or, right, or added, et cetera. Uh, there are a few additional scenarios as well, but this were probably the, you know, the primary ones. And you could either send it to yourself or you, maybe you could send the email notification to, um, you know, to, to other members of the team if you are the site owner. Um, and you could also um, yeah, you know, pretty, pretty much you know, change the frequency of this notification. So you, we had this ability for quite some time. Uh, if you notice, the screen is uh, quite outdated. Uh, that's because we had it um, for many, many years since uh, all the versions of SharePoint. So essentially what Microsoft did, they modernized this, all right? So now we have this uh, feature called rules. Uh, we actually uh, had rules on a uh, custom list, all right? If I go to a custom list for a second, uh, if you, uh, this is a list, not a document library. And, you know, we have the same feature over here. So we actually had uh, this modern rules feature on lists uh, for some time, but recently Microsoft uh, made it available on uh, document libraries as well. So let me demonstrate how easy it is to create rules. Uh, essentially, all you need to do is just navigate, you know, to this automate dropdown, rules, create a rule, all right? And uh, essentially, um, these are the different triggers that are available to you. Um, if you notice um, a new file is created, a new file is deleted, you know, pretty straightforward, all right? So let me just say, for example, I want to be notified when a new file is uh, added, and you can specify who you want to send the notification to. For example, I want it to be sent by me, you know, set create, say create, and here we go, the role has been uh, created. By the way, while, while we're here, uh, there is a limit to how many uh, of those rules you can create. It actually tells you right here, uh, up to 15, right? So up to 15 rules on a, on a single uh, document library. Um, let me show you a few other um, um, available options. Um, so if I create a rule, you know, this is pretty straightforward, right? File is deleted, created. Column changes, all right? Um, let, this probably makes sense for situations when you have a document library with metadata. If you have a document library with folders, doesn't make sense uh, just because there is really no uh, change in the column values, all right? Uh, so that's why I picked a library to show you the, the one that has some metadata. If you notice, I have this policies library with some columns, you know, author, expiration date, owner, you know, department name. Uh, let me demonstrate how this works. So if I click rules again, create a rule, a column changes. Um, uh, that's when a certain column just changes its value. Doesn't matter what it is. It means that any column just changes its values, all right? It could be literally anything, doesn't matter. What it changes to, you will get an email. Uh, when you create a rule and say a column value changes, that's where you can actually specify, hey, you know, I only want to be notified maybe when the owner changes from, I don't know, accounting to HR or something like this. All right, so let me, maybe let's use this example. Um, you know, you click on the drop down rules, create a rule. Again, I want to go for column value changes. So I want to go for very specific change. And you just fill in the blanks, all right? You don't need to be familiar with code. You just say which column. I want to say owner, choose a condition, 
contains, and then I choose the value maybe, you know, when this column becomes HR. Again, send an email to, and you have a, a few pre-selected, um, you know, pre-selected um, kind of, uh, um, you know, email addresses. I guess fields, you can specify your email address, right? But, you know, I just want it to be sent to me, all right? Hit create. And again, another rule has been created. Uh, and essentially, from this point on, you will just get, get an email. It will be one of those automated emails that you get. Uh, and um, essentially, it will, will just notify you of the change being made on the library. Now, in case, last thing I want to show you, in case if you want to uh, maybe uh, delete a certain rule, maybe disable it, whatever, uh, again, you know, navigate here, say manage uh, rule. And here we go. Uh, you see, I can. Uh, you know, maybe disable a certain rule, um, you know, if I want to, all right? And uh, uh, if you want to delete one, maybe, you know, what uh, what I just did, I temporarily uh, disabled it, but let's say I want to delete it completely. So let me click, say delete. And again, let me click, say delete, all right? Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.